The New York Giants have gone with an outside the box surprise pick for their next head coach. They go with Joe Judge, the special teams coordinator, the wide receiver coach this season for the New England Patriots. Joe Judge is a guy that coached the best special teams in football this past season as the Patriots led the league in block punts. He has experience on the offensive side of the football. He has has plenty of experience under great head coaches in both the college level and in the NFL. And I think he's going to bring a personality and a toughness that is a lot different from what the Giants had under Pat Shermer. This is going back to the mold of the Bill Parcells type of coach in New York. This is going back to the Bill Belichick style of head coach, right? Bill Belichick was never the head coach of the Giants, but Bill Belichick was under the tree of Bill Parcells. He's going to bring that toughness. The Giants want to bring that back to New York. Before I dive into my full analysis on Joe Judge being hired as the next coach of the New York Giants, make sure that you do Gronk Spike the like button, subscribe to the Bottom Line View for more NFL videos just like this, and of course, comment below your opinion. What do you think of the New York Giants going out and hiring a young 38-year-old Joe Judge special teams coach of the New England Patriots? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments section below. I think the number one thing we must know about Joe Judge is I let off with it a little bit. This guy has worked under and worked with some of the brightest minds in all of football at every level. Of course, he's worked under Bill Belichick. He's been inside the mind, so to speak, of Bill Belichick on the special team side of the ball, probably been inside the defensive meeting rooms, been inside the offensive meeting rooms. And of course, he worked with Nick Saban at Alabama. He was a special teams coach there as well. And he's also worked with the wide receivers in New England, getting a glimpse into the mind of Josh McDaniels. So even though one of the candidates for the Giants job was Josh McDaniels, I kind of feel like Joe Judge is maybe a more well-rounded coach I still personally would have preferred if the Giants went out and hired a Josh McDaniels because I have a personal bias towards Josh McDaniels. I think he's going to be a great head coach in football whenever he gets hired. But Joe Judge has been a guy that around New England, the media, they've built him up to have the personality, the toughness, and just the overall smarts to be a head coach in this league. Joe Judge He was a special teams assistant from 2009 to 2011 in Alabama, special teams assistant in 2012 to 2014 in New England, and the special teams coordinator from 2015 to 2019. When you think of the Patriots, you think over the course of these years of Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman, the offense, maybe a little bit of defense in the early 2000s when Joe Judge wasn't there, but the unsung unit by far over the past 20 years in New England has always been their special teams. And Bill Belichick prides himself on special teams. This is not a guy that's going to get away with having some dummy as a special teams coordinator. He's going to make sure that guy is smart. That guy's on his P's and Q's. And that guy, to in order to get the full special teams coordinator name, because Bill Belichick doesn't go willy-nilly with those coordinator names, he's got to be one of the best in the game, because Bill Belichick could just do it himself and name himself special teams coordinator, because that's actually how he came up in the NFL. You look at some of the best coaches right now in the NFL, Harbaugh being one of them in Baltimore, he came up with the Philadelphia Eagles as a special teams coordinator. He also, of course, coached the wide receivers this year did Joe Judge. And yes, people are going to say, you know, the Patriots receivers, they suck. There's not a lot of talent there. We've been saying wide receivers suck, blah, 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 blah. Well, the guy was running, the guy was doing two jobs. And how much are you going to do with some of these guys that have zero chemistry with their quarterback? And really outside of Julian Edelman, nobody was supremely talented in this wide receiver group. This is the first year he coached wide receivers. So he has experience at least in the offensive side of the football and he has a vast experience you know all over the place and sometimes i think it's a little bit overrated nowadays 
in terms of having a coach that is a specialist in one area. You know, everybody wants the Kyle Shanahan's or the Sean McVay's, the offensive geniuses. Everybody wants maybe a defensive genius. Well, with Joe Judge, maybe he's a special teams genius, but special teams guys also are better with the full team because they also deal with offensive and defensive guys on a daily basis, whether that's putting them in on special teams, coaching them up, but they're also good at addressing the entire team and know what it takes on both sides of the football. That's what I think makes special teams coordinators unique in their role. And like I said, the Patriots' unsung unit has been their special teams. The best special teams this year was New England, and the that was arguably their best unit the last two seasons. They won the Super Bowl last year, and they were just eliminated in the wild card round this year, but without even having that special teams this year, they might have not even won the AFC East this year. That's how good that special teams unit has been, and he's coached up some of the best players in the game on special teams like Matt Slater being one of them. So he has plenty of experience with big names. He has plenty of experience with the offensive, defensive guys. He knows how to handle the personality. And I think a big thing today is I'm all about with a head coach bringing culture to your organization. And Joe Judge is going to bring culture, the type of culture that the Giants want back. Because remember, the Giants, Bill Parcells, biggest, most successful part of their entire history. And now bringing a guy like Joe Judge, who's maybe not under Bill Parcells, but under his disciple and Bill Belichick will bring that toughness and that culture to the New York Giants, given that he is allowed to do so. Dave Gettleman is the big question mark here. I don't love him. I don't think a lot of Giants fans love him. Let me know in the comments if you love him or you think they should move on. But I think that was a deterrent for other coaches across the league, maybe being hired by them. So they maybe are taking a little bit of an outside chance on Joe Judge. But I think you're getting a guy who has the culture, who has the experience, and I think has experience winning the college level, the NFL level. Maybe never been an NFL coach before, maybe not an offensive or defensive coordinator, but he's going to bring a special teams unit that's going to be really, really good. And he's going to be able to, on both sides of the football, say, you know what, maybe we should do this this week. And given that he has good coaches on those sides of the football, he'll be able to help out with the game planning from a week to week, but also help out with just the overall tactics of the entire roster and organization. So I like this hire. I think it's solid. I don't think it's fantastic. Obviously, he's not the most proven. Maybe it's a little premature, but overall, I think it's the type of guy that fits what the Giants want to be as an organization. So I will give this a two thumbs up. Good hiring by the Giants. Don't absolutely adore it, but I like it. Again, guys, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this hiring by the Giants? Do you like it? Do you hate it? If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you do subscribe to the bottom line view and of course, Gronk's bike, the like button. We'll see you soon. Joe Judge, new coach of the New York Giants. Peace.